Hello, good morning. You're welcome to New Day here on TV3. My name is Yao Ofusulabi. Now we are continuing our coverage of the GFA elections. And as you know, on New Day, uh, we interview uh, the presidential candidates and also uh, the executive council candidates. Now we are moving away from the presidential candidates at the moment to the executive council candidates. And we'll be doing that from now up until uh, when the elections will begin. Now the GFA uh, executive uh, council candidates are so many, uh, many notable names in football at the moment. But this morning, joining me is the executive chairman of Young Apostles Football Club and my very good friend, Sami Nimadu. Sami, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get started now. Now Sami, I mean, you're, um, you're getting into uh, a position that you've, you've never been in before. What are your expectations if you're voted? <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's, it's something that, yeah, you, someone will say I've not been there, but yeah. um, I've been a president before. Someone will say it's student politics, but mm -hmm. um, the population, the delegates, uh, the population that voted was 10,000 and over. Right. And this is only 48 people voting, mm -hmm. just that. In this case, the bigger, the football industry too is also bigger right. than the, where I was. And, uh, I understand what it takes to be a leader, mm -hmm. and I've, I've led in so many things. And you, you bear witness with what I've done with the Samajan Foundation, right. touching lives of so many people. Yeah. What I've done with my football, uh, also, and now coming down to Baby Jet and assisting. So, if you have that qualities, if you you've uh, gotten the experience throughout the years, um, if you get to this level, I've I've been in negotiations for international contracts with Samajan with other uh, multinationals. I've done that with investors and all that. I've brought business to this country with other multinationals. And I've done a lot of uh, work on the grounds when it comes to football in Ghana, mm -hmm. uh, from second division to the um, Premier League Division One, which I started from uh, Barbarossa, second division to Mediama in 2009, then to um, um, Kimfesa 2013, and then uh, 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 um, now um, Far Rangers. Mm -hmm. Um, then now for, um, young apostles. So I've, I have all the experience it takes to be at that level. And if you run a company, you know I've been the CEO of Jan Investment. Right. You understand the corporate mm -hmm. uh, way of handling things and uh, corporate governance and um, what it takes to take decisions on at the board level and making right. sure we implement. Uh, so I, I see myself as somebody who is fully fit, mm -hmm. ready to lead and bring a change to Ghana football. Uh, what Ghanaians are expecting they need to have people like myself on the executive council. Right, your, your, your credentials are, are there for everybody to see. I mean, it's writing on the wall, really. Nobody uh, can say they do not know Sami Enimado in football in the country. But what informed your decision? What do you think is wrong at the FA that you want to change? Well, there were a lot of positives at the FA. And at the same time, there were a lot of uh, negatives. Um, one major thing that has uh, affected our integrity well, had to do with our judicial system, where there are cases that comes out, um, clubs who have issues, and we can see clearly that the it's case must be uh, decided on based on the rules and regulations of the game, mm -hmm. that somebody is supposed to be punished. Mm -hmm. And then you see us standing around, trying to do favoritism, somebody knowing somebody, somebody calling somebody, and he was my friend, and the, those things, and it has affected the integrity of our game. Right. People act in, in ways, violent ways, as they there. Mm -hmm. they, they, they put their game into the dispute. They are first corporate brand. A sponsor has given you money. Mm -hmm. He's expecting numbers to follow with the money he gave you. Right. Eyebrows. He's expecting so many things on social media, on TV, and the next game. And he's planned his marketing AMP budget with your, the money he gives you. He mm -hmm. gives you. Mm -hmm. Then you come and then you end the game abruptly with all these unnecessary um, cases. Then you go to court and... If you, if you do that, how many of the sponsors will come? We need people who will be firm. Right. We need executive council members who will tell the, the, the board that this is the law. Mm -hmm. We are not changing it. We are not saying green should be red. Right. We need people who will say that these are the plans we put together. Mm -hmm. Let's adopt a policy, a national football document policy. Let's follow it. Let's make sure we are achieving the, um, the, 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 uh, our objectives with timelines. We won't right. talk like the way people just go and talk, talk. And then they will act. Yeah. And you know Sami and Enimado will act. And you know I've, I have that track record yeah. of implementing, of making things sure things work. Yeah. This is why you need Sami and Madu there. Mm -hmm. So we need to change that perception. Right. That integrity is key. We need to also adopt a policy, a philosophy. What, mm -hmm. 
my brother, you, you, you guys are crying. Senegal is beating Ghana. Mali is beating Ghana. There is a philosophy. There is a project. As we speak, mm -hmm. they are under 15s. They are under 17. They are under 19s. Are in camp, mm -hmm. training. Our hours. They are home. Our coaches are home. We don't have even a program for our coaches to develop their capacity. Right. How can we develop the game? We don't have proper infrastructure on the uh, where our games should be played on. You need people who will make sure we, we come up with innovative ideas. Yeah. Let me tell you, whoever tells you you can't attract 20 million or 30 million or whatever money from government and corporate Ghana to develop the game is lying. Okay. You need to position yourself well. You need to identify what the people want. You need to identify what will make your brand attractive. Right. We are in a global world. Mm -hmm. Globalization has told us that everybody, what everybody tries to want what product everybody wants to associate themselves with. That's what corporate Ghana comes in. It gets to the time even multinational, even the UN. Mm -hmm. Why is UNESCO supporting Barcelona? Right. They knew Barcelona has the eyebrows. Mm -hmm. They need to put in something. Qatar did the same thing with right. Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Because they knew, they know that everybody wants to see Barcelona. Right. So we, it is up to us. Okay. And you need people like us to make sure we put these things in place and make sure our game flows. So, I mean, let's go to um, youth football. I've, I've seen what, what you've done with... Uh, Asamoah under 16 tournament and, and kudos to you really for, uh, for, 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 for a good work done. But what is really the problem with, with youth football in this country and, and how? How do we get it back on track? Because um, you're looking at a progression from under 17 to under 20 to under 23 and hopefully into the Black Stars. Can there be a link? Can there be something that would bind these teams so that we get a formidable Black Stars later on? This is the reason why you want Sami. You, you should have Sami and Madu. You should pray that Sami and Madu gets on the executive council. This is the reason. <laughs> Let me give you the genesis of it. Mm -hmm. Parliamentary hands are there. The first, the fourth republic. Okay. The first president of the fourth republic is Jerry John Rawlings. Right. The next president is um, John Ajikunku. For the next right. one is Atta Mills. Mm -hmm. Then the next one is um, John Mama. Okay. The, the, the current one is Nana Adudankwe Kufuado. Right. Go and check the parliamentary hazard. The state of the nation address, my brother, you know what the state of the nation address means. Mm -hmm. That depends, that, that set the tone for the president policies when it comes to his projects for, the, for, for, for his, after he comes into office, what mm -hmm. he's going to do for the nation. Right. This president, from Rollins to Akufuado, says mm -hmm. that grassroots football, coast football, is very, very vital. It's, is the bedrock of our football. We need to bring it back. We need to revive it. We mm -hmm. need to put um, a system and structures in place for mm -hmm. it to come back. Right. It's said in Parliament. Mm -hmm. And if you understand it, and then all of a sudden it goes off. Right. No one talks about it again. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the ministry, the FA, only God knows. But I sat down and said, no. When I saw Asamojan play at Karikari Park, okay. he was around 14 years. Right. I saw him like this. He was playing for Grace Sidaps, a coach team in that area. I saw him, I, when I started seeing him, I started encouraging him. I said, man, your quality is special. I started, because I'm also an Accra Academy boy. He's my junior. I went to watch him at Accra <laughs> County. Don't worry, it's, it's normal. We have to do that little bit. Yeah. You know? Then, I said, no. Everybody talks about grassroots football, but nobody is acting. Mm -hmm. And Sami Animado, I also started from grassroots. Before right. I went, I told you through second division, division mm -hmm. one premier, mm -hmm. even to the international level where I dealt with Asamoajan right. contracts and all that. And I followed the national teams and all that. So if I've gotten this exposure, mm -hmm. why would I sit down for this to go down? Nothing is done. Then I decided to start the baby jet and assisting. I told Asamoajan, this is what I've created. Right. You yourself, this, where I see, this that's where I saw you. I want to do this and I know is going to help Ghana. Then mm -hmm. I started Baby Jet and assisting. Yeah. Last year alone, the best player, you saw him, that boy. Yeah, Matthew. Matthew. Mm -hmm. He went to under 20, they were doing their justify. They said, oh, this is a small boy. And then they said, no, if he's a small boy, they are calling Messi Messi, who is he? Okay, let's see him. This boy plays, and they said, no, they need him. And he played in the under 20, he went to Morocco. Right. Current, and the, there are other boys who have also moved out as, as we speak. Okay. There are other boys who are already in Europe, mm -hmm. about five boys from the last edition. Yeah. Currently, the, the, the generation of the, the next generation who are now the dream team, they are mm -hmm. now in camp. Yesterday, they had a training at the Lord Comic Complex at Luso Park. Yeah. We, we have done this, and this people are saying the FA should have done this. Okay. And if I, Sami Animado, mm -hmm. sat down alone, called my team and said, this is what we should do, mm -hmm. and we've thought all over this country. Yeah. And now look at the talents we have seen. Okay. And we have prepared the, 
the grounds for um, 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 the next under 17 and then the next under 20. Right. It tells you that we are doing something that Ghana will benefit from. Okay. It tells you that somebody has the vision to see beyond what people are seeing here. Okay. If you want to build a house and you can't do the work on the foundation, don't build. We've been depending on Yami Boami players for all this while and it's not helping us. We need to depend on players that we develop with our philosophy of okay. what we want to do for the game. Okay. And by the grace of God, we've started it and wonderfully everybody is appreciating it. And it tell, that's what I'm saying. It's telling you that that's why you need Sami Animadu. Uh, he's the one who is going to champion the grassroots projects. All the, pres all the aspiring presidents have started and when you see their manifesto, you mm -hmm. were them, all of them focusing on grassroots football. Mm -hmm. It's only one person who made sure this happens and it's Sami Animadu. Right, Sami, let's, let, let's look at player welfare. You, you, you've worked in different clubs you've seen different players you've um you, you've handled contracts of different players now um you you and i both know that player contracts and and player welfare generally in ghana is not as good as you know outside and stuff like that and that's why our players keep leaving what are the ideas that you're going to push to the executive council to ensure that players live comfortable lives in ghana and can play their football as they want it yeah i told you about the fact that we need to position ourselves well to mm -hmm. attract that kind of sponsorship. Right. Bro, if you go to the countries in Africa who are doing it well, go and check. All the multinationals, all the, um, most of the state institutions support their game. Right. Why haven't we done that here? Now, this is the greatest opportunity for us to have that kind of support. Corporate Ghana spoke about after number 12, mm -hmm. the government acted, the government did not allow FIFA to ban us. Right. It tells you that government is interested. Okay. Now, let's position ourselves well. There's this multinationals. We can, we can, you see, we, have a, we can have a short term and a long term plan. Right. These multinationals who are exploiting our natural resources, mm -hmm. they have corporate social responsibility budgets. Right. It is compulsory budget for them to give back to society. Yeah, yeah. We can easily lobby government through parliament to pass a law. Mm -hmm. And this should not take us any, any years. Okay. This should be months. We lobby government through parliament. Mm -hmm. And parliamentary um, select committee on sports acted and even made sure we, we bring sanity. They made sure they got, they got themselves involved with the tension of our game. Mm -hmm. So it's a clear indication that they are ready to help us. Right. Let them pass a law. If you go to Nigeria, there are states. There are states. They sponsor the clubs. Right. So they pay the clubs. Most of them, even their clubs, are being paid by the state. Right. If we expect only the private person to pay everything, mm -hmm. then we are only expecting the private person to get revenue from transfers. Because mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the match attendance at the stadiums cannot guarantee us. Even uh, so our, economy, our economy is also another problem. People right. don't have the purchasing power to have the disposable income to be able to use some for so, uh, such projects right. going to pay season tickets and all that but mm -hmm. we can we can if, if we package the product well mm -hmm. and they see the benefit of getting to the stadium right. they will start but that packaging also comes with proper planning exactly. and also we need something to start with yes government has come let's make sure we get something from government to start mm -hmm. These multinationals who are exploiting our natural resources the talos the the new months look at the now Ghana is the highest exporter of gold in Africa right do you know why it's because of somebody like Newman that came in the picture. Because yes. it was previously only Anglo Gold and Gold Fields and mm -hmm. some of the other gold mining companies. Right. If you have all of them paying, let's go and check their figures. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll prepare the documents. Right. Some of them, their budget is something, something billion. Okay, so, 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 so generally what you're saying is that- We can assess okay. funding. Mm -hmm. We can, mm -hmm. and we can secure some from government too. Right. We, we, we need to develop the document to let government know our, our contribution to GDP. Yeah. We are contributing highly to, and even I'm you, see, you see, uh, many a time the, the problem has been accountability and how this, these monies are, uh, are, are disbursed to, 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 to teams, Wonderful. to players, whatever. Thank you, thank I you mean, for this one. Shouldn't there be a regulatory let body me, let me tell that, you something. that would look at this? Accountability is part of my, my team paper that I'm going to use to lobby the ESCO right. to support our projects. If we, get, we sign contracts, Mm -hmm. And we can't disclose the contracts mm -hmm. to the whole world mm -hmm. that we signed a contract and we were paid this, and this is going to the clubs. They have they, they've positioned such an amount to if, whether if there is an agency, how much the agency is taking, mm -hmm. how much is going into marketing, TV production, and all that, and we hide it. 
How are we going to get the people to bring the money? This has been one major problem. Right. We don't, we are we're trying to say it is for us alone. And no, football is for everybody. Okay. We need to develop the football economy so that everyone in the game benefits. Right. Developing the football economy brings accountability. Okay. If you can't account for what comes in, mm -hmm. let's assume we've been able to lobby government and government has brought in money. Mm -hmm to exceed money to, for us to start with. Before we look at the long-term um, plan of getting a fund from this corporate organization and that stuff, and then we also position ourselves to secure more comp corporate sponsorship. Mm -hmm. We will have to disclose what amount we are using to pay A, B, C, even mm -hmm. our coaches, okay. from what the fund will be giving to us. Right. And we, we can agree with government that if we are able to do that and they give us all the support, mm -hmm. building pitches in our communities, mm -hmm through um, the fund right. and government supporting throughout the communities, right. helping us with also training our regional district mm -hmm. coaches, regional coaches, and paying them and let it, letting them be on the, whether it's going to a district assembly fund or okay. the regional fund or mm -hmm. the, all those places. We all can also tell government, if you do all these things for us, we mm -hmm. can also pay some particular taxes or, uh, from the, the transfers that we do. Mm -hmm. In England, mm -hmm. the player, even their salaries, okay. When they take salaries, 100,000, they pay taxes about 49,000. Okay. Because the state is putting money in the game. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we get a state and then let's also be transparent right. that this is what you've given, given us. This is doing A, B, C. We are not going to hide anything. Okay. If you get yourself accountable, if you get, you win the integrity back. Right. And your product becomes more attractive. And everybody associates themselves with your product. So, I mean, um, um, quickly, um, going around, are the delegates accepting you? And, and are, are you hopeful of a win and entry into the uh, executive council? Thank you very much. Uh, what I can tell you is that come 24th October, October mm -hmm. if all of us are alive by the grace of the almighty God, the one who has made it possible, I will be an executive council member right. of the Ghana Football Association. Okay. I can tell you confidently that the number of votes that I need to be on the executive council, I've secured it already. Okay. It's now left with whether I'm going to be the first on the list. Okay. Or the second on the list. But when the votes that I need, inshallah, I've secured it. And I want to thank my delegates mm -hmm. from the zone one, especially. That's okay. charity begins at home. Okay. You can't fault me for that. I need to make sure I develop that um, relationship with them and get their confidence and their endorsement and my class from the north. Mm -hmm to be okay. to part of Ashanti. So it's, it's all sorted. It's sorted. Coming down to zone two, mm -hmm. wonderful people, they, they think I, they need me. They call me, Sami, you are the one we need at the right. ESCO. Zone one, super. Okay. So my godfathers in zone one, I won't mention their names. As if you know, <laughs> I started coach football with them. Right. So they know what I can do. And they've told me, and they, you, you can imagine, when mm -hmm. you call them, they will tell you that, Sami, Sami and Madhu is our first person. Sami, um, a, a final question. Just talk a bit about the dream team and then, and then we can go. My producer is already signaling me that our time is up. Yeah, the Baby Jet and Assisting Dream Team started their uh, residential campaign this weekend, mm -hmm. last weekend. They, are fair, they did some technical um, physical training. Their first game yesterday was at the uh, Lord Comic Complex. Right. And they are, they are going to play a friendly tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And they're playing um, Right to Dream on Friday. Right. On Sunday, they're playing a second division club at Accra Academy. Isn't that too much for them? Yeah, they are, they are 40 players. They are 40, okay. Right. They need to play because we need to tr um, prune them down to 25. Right. Even after this exercise, some will go home. Mm -hmm. But we've decided that all those we picked, mm -hmm. we'll still monitor them, mm -hmm. give them to some because I've had requests from some division one clubs, some premier clubs, some academies. Right. And even the requests to Europe. Okay. Some. I have requests for some of them to come to Europe, but officially they will go to their tour in May. Okay. But we'll prepare them from now, give them some grooming sessions, mm -hmm. time with the professionals, right. time with the referees, time with coaches, to make sure they learn, even time with media men, right. so that they understand what they have to do, to be able to understand what they are going into. Mm -hmm. Then we make them prepare for the bigger picture, which I have a target of selling the Ghanaian player at $10 million. Right, we'll see how that goes for you. But all of the best, Sami. Thanks very much for uh, joining us this morning. You heard there from Sami Enimado, who is executive chairman of Young Apostles Football Club. Joining me this morning uh, as we build up to the GFA elections. The executive council elections begin on the 24th of October and the presidential elections, as we know at the moment, is on the 25th.